We asked so many women to talk about their perimenopause or menopause symptoms today on the show. You know what we heard? Nope. A lot of people said no. Do you know why they said no? They're scared. And rightfully so. I'm taking a risk here talking openly about my symptoms. I am. Because society frowns upon aging women. Yeah, a little more of that radical honesty. That was a clip from a show we did on menopause, and it was so powerful uh, and kind of shocking, but not really, that so many women were like, absolutely not. I don't want to let people know exactly where I'm at in my life and my age, because they're thinking, will I have the same job opportunities? Will, can I date the same people? Like, people will judge you based on your age. This happens in our world. But here on City Line, uh, we don't care about all that. We've given <laughs> women of all ages a place to feel safe when it comes to these conversations. So we're going to dive in a little bit more. Trace and Tara are back, and Kathy Donovan joins us now. I'm happy you're wearing yellow. She's Thank just you. so happy, and the Thank vibes you. are always immaculate with you. So let's talk about how we've shifted the conversation uh, around aging. Yeah, because it's both behind and in front of the camera here at City Line. Yes. You know, there's a, an acknowledgement, a recognition, and a celebration that we're all unique. And as we age, that's what happens. It's a unique experience for every one mm. of us. But we have so many misunderstandings about what it is to get older. Yeah, I'm do. 72 now, so I'm mm. giving you the good news. It's yeah, not good. It's not a curse. Yes. It's actually <laughs> a blessing. And I think, you know, you talk about radical acceptance. That's what we have to do. Yeah. When we start to radically accept ourselves as we are, that's where the power lives. Right. So I feel like there are conversations on City Line around the hidden challenges that women deal with post-menopause, in menopause, before menopause, like loneliness, yes. like the changes in our body, the changes uh -huh. in our family structure, which are all perfectly normal mm -hmm. and when we start to normalize these conversations women see themselves mm -hmm. and they feel recognized they see that their experience their wisdom matters and they feel respected mm. so that's the magic that's the magic so for so many years like we grew up not really hearing women speak about their menopause experiences mm -hmm. that was not a thing that we did on this show and city line has definitely been championing it so I want to talk about the impact of us helping to make menopause a daily conversation and making it mainstream. Tara, what can you add to that? Have you seen that on the show? Do you see the shift? Absolutely, I see the shift. And I see the shift also in terms of recognizing how much we're marketed to. Like menopause yeah. is having a moment for sure. People right. are talking about it and that's all great. And I think that also furthering that conversation of understanding that we shouldn't be trying to make this not happen. We don't yeah. try to make puberty not happen. <laughs> right. Why are we trying to make menopause not happen? It's the same hormonal shift right. in our bodies. Yeah. So let's understand it, let's work with it. And I think that City Line does that. You know, again, back to the fact of, you're not trying to fix things on the show you're not trying to change things on the show you're trying to you know open the window and say this is actually what's happening and how do we live within this truth yes we're not gonna escape it folks no I'm 52 and a half yeah and, and a half. I, I still say half it's like I go back to like a six and a half year old I'm gonna celebrate my half birthday right <laughs> as you should T how about you like how would you say the conversation is shifting or what Sydney line has brought to the table when it comes to aging sometimes people don't even know what's wrong with them yeah. or why is this happening like imagine yeah. if you didn't know what a period was and when you were 12 years old you just got a period yeah. and no one explained it you'd well, be like oh my was, god I'm dying that was half right? of us exactly <laughs> right what's happening <laughs> well I knew what it was right <laughs> but it helps if people are telling you stuff and giving you the language so you can ask for help and yeah. not feel alone and just at least at the very least have comfort in knowing you're not the only one going through it yeah. so I think these conversations are Absolutely. very important yeah. So, Kath, you actually said it's almost giving women an opportunity to embrace who we are. 100%. I mean, it's this idea that you mentioned, radical acceptance of who we are as we are. Yeah. Wherever you are, on your timeline, in your life adventure, you've got stuff going on. We've all got stuff going on. Nobody's got it all together. That's the beautiful news. Yeah. So when we tap into that power, because it's incredible when you accept yourself and you learn to love on yourself the yes. way you are, you shine so bright. I love that. Um, and, you know, one of the criticisms that I get all the time is, you know, stop making excuses. Mm. This is not about excuses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Radical acceptance is about accepting who you are, yeah. and that's not an excuse. Yeah. 
It's not an excuse. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, and speaking of empowering women uh, as they age, over a year ago, we wanted to put our platform to good use by collecting menstrual products to help fight period poverty. We asked our incredible viewers for donations to assist the charity, the Period Purse. So we were blown away. Let's see the impressive impact we have made together. We started at zero, and we got to... Oh my Keep going. God. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, oh my God. Yes. That's all of you. A total of 110,912 product donations. Wow. Blown away. The first day, the bins were overflowing, like the first wow. week. So thank you for your incredible generosity. And to celebrate, we wanted to give back to our audience. Over the past 10 years, the leading leak-proof brand in North America is NYX. They've expanded its offerings from leak-proof underwear to bras, swim, lounge, and more. All of you are taking home a $100 NYX gift card. <laughs> Beautiful, enjoy that. We'll be back celebrating 40 years of City Line. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah.